I'm going to read a brief passage from my novel Legacy, uh, which is a book about uh, a family from Northern Ontario called the Gibson family. And they're struggling with uh, a couple of pretty significant tragedies in their family life. And uh, the book follows each sibling as he or she tries to um, redefine their family's legacy of tragedy and not just be known for those tragedies. So the central figure is Eva Gibson, and the book begins with her uh, attending university in Toronto with hopes of eventually becoming a lawyer. Uh, but at this particular uh, moment, she feels homesick because um, she really feels like um, a foreigner on the streets of Toronto. So uh, where we find her uh, at this point is in uh, a dorm room she, she shares with another young uh, Anishinaabe woman um, named Melissa. So uh, they're about to go outside just to take a quick walk. From the street outside, a fire truck siren blared suddenly and the engine's rumble shook the building. Melissa stirred and groaned behind Eva. Man, it's too loud here. Can't even get no sleep, she grumbled in that thick res accent that seemed to get louder only when the two young women were together. If there was one virtue to the mayhem of the city, Eva thought, was there were always enough loud distractions to snap her out of any sad memories. I need some smokes, Melissa proclaimed. Want to go to the store? Sure, Eva replied. I'm not getting anything done in here anyway. She wasn't sure how much time had passed since she got home from class, but she wasn't quite ready to get to work. They got dressed and went back outside. They raced past all the open doors on their floor and the rest of the lingering residents in the foyer downstairs. Outside, the snow had let up and the clouds were clearing. It got colder as it got sunnier. Even so, the young women were jovial and warm with thoughts of returning home to their communities in just over a month. They walked back out to Spadina and then south towards college. It was closer to supper time and the workday was drawing to a close. So the downtown drones were packing streetcars and buses and walking in the opposite direction. It was like this every weekday. The core of the city seemed to exhale, letting an elephantine breath of exhausted souls back out into the suburbs. Can you imagine growing up here? Eva asked. Hell no, Melissa replied. Where do the kids around here even play? Look at the people on that streetcar. They look so sad and tired. Yeah, it's depressing, man. Can't even go to bingo. They both erupted in loud, boisterous laughter and gave each other playful nudges. It was enough to alarm the handful of people in the two meter radius around them, and most of them stared and or scowled. Stares were common. Eva and Melissa were an exotic mystery to a lot of the Toronto populace that sauntered past or saw them in shops or on the subway. When a stranger had time to give one of them a good look and ponder their background, it led to a lot of questions. Look at her, is she some kind of Asian, Latino, maybe from Hawaii? While there were tens of thousands of other native people in Toronto, they were so spread out that the common city dweller probably would only see a handful on the streets in his or her lifetime. Even then, the contemporary living native specimen would likely be someone panhandling or down and out on a corner or in a park. Seeing someone from that background walking upright and seemingly normal was even foreign to people of wide multicultural backgrounds. The sad paradox was that this part of the land was a traditional hub for people like Eva and Melissa just a few short centuries prior. That history and those memories had all but been erased thanks to the authorities. The new history being created here neglected or ignored the original people of the land. But one at a time, young students like these women from faraway reserves were slowly infiltrating the psyche of the city. Eva and Melissa got to their usual corner store in Chinatown, bought their smokes, and went back to their building. That's legacy.